Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new and haven't subscribed our channel, press the subscribe button. In this video, we will learn how we can use smart fasteners in polymer assembly and how we can make complex assemblies with smart fasteners. So let's start. So, so here you have smart fastener option in this toolbar. What smart fastener is that automatic it automatically adds fasteners from SolidWorks toolbox library. If the assembly has holes, hole series or pattern of patterns of holes that are sized to accept standard hardware. So for smart fastener you must have toolbox add in so that you can easily add the fasteners like nuts and bolts in your assembly so we will see how we can add smart fastener in our assembly open the part like this this is our flange coupling part like this so now you can see the different holes in our plan coupling so we will simply select the smart smart fasteners and we will add bolts in them to join these two parts you don't have to create new part of bolts and nuts you just have the smart fastener option we will use it so let's see how we can use it to use the smart fasteners you must have some hole or cut extrude features or hole hole wizard fe feature so that the smart fastener detect it and insert the standard bolts or nuts in it so first of all we will select smart fastener if you will get this error, smart fastener requires SOLIDWORKS toolbox, which is not present. You will go in the design library and from here toolbox, you will do it, add in now. Now you can see that toolbox has been added. Now you will simply go to the smart fastener, select OK. And there are two tabs, one is of selection and one is of wizard. First of all, in selection, we will select this cut extrude you can see and select add now it has been automatically detected the holes or cut extrude features and added the bolts in it now you can simply edit these bolts according to your type like if you want hex build or supply in drive type you can select from here like this and from the size you can select it here but it will automatically adjust it according to your hole so you don't need to change the size so what is the top stack and bottom stack add to top stack mean that it will add some washer type or different type of washer or lock on the upper side of your bolt like if I am going to add regular flash flat washer type B you will see that washers has been added to our bolts we don't have to create the washers we just go to the add to tab top stack and we will add them and in the bottom if you want to add some type of nut or other feature you can add from here like I am going to add hex net nut on the bottom so like this you can see that length has been automatically adjusted of the bolt and the nut has been 
added so if you want to edit these or you want to add different type of nut you will go to edit grouping and from here from series you will change the fastener type so from here you can change the fastener type like if you want to add bolts or screws or thumb screws you can add from here I have selected scare head bolt and now you can see that our bolt has been changed select ok so you can see our assembly has been ready and the mates has been automatically allotted with the fastener type you can see that it is rotating because it is concentric and coincident so this was our simple tutorial on how you can use smart fasteners in solidworks assembly now in the next video we will learn how we can use different type of patterns for the large parts assembly so stay tuned and keep watching and sharing our channel.